In this video, we will solve a problem based on projection of lines. The question is, top view of a 75 mm long line AB measures 50 mm and its front view is 60 mm. Draw the projection of the line and find its inclination with HP and VP. So here, the line length, line true, line true length is given, which is 75 mm and its top view measures 50 mm. Its front view length is 60 mm. These are the dimensions given. So about the point end A or B, nothing is specified. We, so we will assume that the line A is in first quadrant and also we will assume that the entire line is in first quadrant. Whether you whether the line is in first quadrant or in second quadrant, whatever it is, the line's inclination depends upon, uh, line's inclination will be same in, in whichever quadrant it is. So we will assume that the line is in first quadrant and we will solve the question. Here the uh, since the line is in first quadrant and when the A is in first quadrant we will take some dimension x1 and mark its front view of A that is A dash which is above reference line and some dimension y1 which is um, below reference line because first, first quadrant means front view is above reference line and top view is uh, it is below reference line after rotation it is going downward so it is below reference line so we will mark a dash x1 distance above reference line and a y1 distance below reference line now it is given that line length is line uh, length is 75 mm and its front view is 60 mm so that means a dash b dash will be 50 mm 60 mm a dash b dash will be 60 mm so we will just draw a line of length front view is 60 mm from from here we will draw a line of length 60 mm like this and then from there we will draw another line just a vertical line like this a long line like this okay we will just draw a line like this and let it be there now what you have to do is from it is given that lines true length is 75 mm so we will draw a line from here we will cut an arc from here from A having a length of 75 mm somewhere here. You cut an arc of 75 mm long like this. Okay. So that line is the true length line. Okay. So this is true length line. So this is since it is true length line, we are naming it as AB2. This is this is B two. That is B two. Now we will. So since it is in the question, it is given that the line is its top view is 70 uh, top view is 50 mm long. Again, we will draw a line of length 50 mm from here, like this. 50 mm. Then from there, another line, vertical line like this just a line like this okay a locus of that point then from a dash again you have to draw a line of length 75 mm cut an arc of 75 mm to meet here so since this is true length and this is also true length from here 
the line of 75 mm long you are cutting that arc here so you got that line also now that line is again 75 mm long ok so this line and this line these two lines are 75 mm long now, we, now what we will do is we will just draw a locus like this and this point also a locus like this now what we have to do is since this is the since this is the top view length okay it is given that this is seven, uh, this is 60 mm so this is 50 mm so since this is the uh, top view length 50 mm this this point is we will name this point as This point is B1 dash. This is B1 dash. Now you have from here you draw an arc. Okay, this 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 point, this arc you have to draw like this. A dash as radius and this this is B2 dash. Okay, this is B2 dash. And this is B1. Now A dash B2 dash is radius and A dash is center. You have to draw an arc. Like this you have to draw an arc. A dash B2 dash is radius and A dash is center you draw an arc. Also, A B1 as radius, A as center, one more arc. So you got that arc also. Now, this this line you join, just join here. A dash B dash you can get here, and also one more line. One more line a b so you can name that point that that line as this is this is b dash and this is b so you got the you got all the three uh, all the three angles now you can just measure that this is the front view angle alpha this is the top view angle beta this is the actual angle of the line okay alpha is actual angle with horizontal plane and this is the actual angle with vertical plane beta then you have the front view angle Theta and top view angle phi. So you got alpha. This is the uh, actual angle of the line with the reference plane. Okay, horizontal plane. Beta, which is the actual angle of the plane with the vertical plane. Theta, which is the front view angle, and phi, which is the top view angle.